What's inside an old CD, cassette, and radio boombox? Is there anything, besides the electronics, worth saving? Let's do a really quick teardown and find out. Right away I see a dual voltage battery compartment. One layer down we find a cassette tape mechanism. Complex, all-in-one PCB. Speakers and PCB on the front panel. A CD player and auto-extending tray. Ooh! A separate transformer. Let's harvest the cassette player. And ooh, a nice smooth cover assembly. Harvest the speaker, front frame, and grills. Harvest the control panel. Take the hacksaw to a couple of the components. Looking good. Okay, let's see what we've got. This one is more about the case and some fun mechanisms. We've got an odd assortment. Let's start with a large, sturdy, all-in-one handle. Bigger than my build plate. It makes a good start for a mobile monitor frame or a handle for a stylish carry bag. I don't do much cosplay, but this sure looks like a good base for a chest plate or a bug-eyed robot. Yeah, a big bug-eyed robot head. And this battery case has a high power 9 volt section plus a 4.5 volt section. That's one power supply to run an Arduino and a completely separate circuit for big current sucking things like motors. The control panel and button covers peeled off cleanly and intact. Take a look at those high quality buttons. This assembly could save a lot of design and printing time just by reusing these. And the clear plastic window is, if you have some small displays, the perfect size for a status screen. I did an instructable on turning an old alarm clock case into an interactive light show, so it's definitely possible to reuse parts like these. This one is large enough to fit an entire Arduino Uno with room left over. And this, well, I've never made a puzzle box, but they're super popular right now. What if you rigged this frame and opening mechanism to only open when the correct series of buttons are pressed? Decorate the case, but use the cool opening action to slowly reveal the reward. And the CD tray could also be used in a puzzle box. Put a servo on the open button. Embed the Arduino in the shell. When the puzzle is solved, the door slides open slowly to reveal the reward. Or maybe the panel slides open to reveal something hidden inside the cavity. Just put a decorative shell around it and add the puzzle. I can make the shell and the puzzle. But these smooth, cool opening mechanisms are beyond my current skill levels. So both of these are worth saving to me. Always save these CD player mechanisms. You can reuse them almost as is in a lot of different ways. And you can also scrap them out for lots of interesting tidbits. And save those metal mesh covers. Uh, they always come in handy. Cassette players are getting more rare every year, but they have so many uses. Make a DIY Mellotron scrub deck for experimental music making. Or scrap it out and save the motor. Or break it down even further for cool steampunk parts. Those button stems are unique looking. Save the gears. You can put them onto anything that you don't eat. And cassette players have all kinds of fun cams and levers and brackets that are hard to find anywhere else, but look great on jewelry. Overall, not a bad haul from a non-working antique machine. We got parts for jewelry, cosplay, a purse, and a possible electronic puzzle box. I'm happy. Get more details about this and other projects on my blog or Facebook page. See the links in the description below. And hit subscribe to get all the latest projects here on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and go make something fun!